There are moments in our lives, definitive moments, so powerful they change the path of who we become. A memory frozen in time, like a photograph seared to the soul. It's that moment where the wild stomped in. I was six the first time I rode on a motorcycle. My mom's friend brought a bike to a family gathering. And I remember, it looked like a beast. Fierce and proud. I put my hand on the throttle, and with the twist, it rumbled and howled. Like I held the power to control its breathing. That was my first ride. The moment was bigger than me. It chose me to be there. It was in the wind, the smell of the tires tearing through grass and dirt. It was the first time I truly felt speed. It was the awakening. And somewhere between the goose bumps and smiles, I knew I would always chase that open road. It became my dream to one day own a motorcycle. Four thousand seven hundred and forty-five days later, at the age of nineteen, I finally bought my first vintage Harley. A 1957 Panhead named after one of my first loves. My grandma Mabel. Mabel was my first bike and my best friend. I became obsessed with the spirit of the ride, the absolute freedom. I never wanted to own a car. We rode through forgotten towns and lived in the dirt, crossed the country. We traveled across golden plains, climbed mountain roads, roared through canyons, and rested in silent deserts. She was my America. That exact same year, those countless miles led me to a broken down bike garage. And in that bike garage, the owner had an old motor. It was a knucklehead, just like me. It hadn't worked in years, but something in the rust and the fading metal, it inspired me. And just like that, I had this new dream. I wanted to take something that was forgotten, something old and worn, something with heritage, and make it mine. So with absolutely no idea how to fix it, I bought the motor, determined to one day learn. And then reality sunk in, and that young man's dream, it had to wait for my life. It has been a long road I feel like I blinked and 20 years passed in an instant. But I'm not alone anymore. I'm not young anymore. I'm not in the dirt as much as I'd like to be. But I am in love. I'm a husband and a father. And it is the greatest honor of my life. has taken three decades in the making. The longest dream I have ever held on to. And now, best part is I get to share that dream with my children and the people that I love. I'm 40 and I finally built a bike. There are people who come into our lives like guiding spirits, providing the missing lessons we need, teachers that become friends, and friends who become family.
Maybe we bent a couple of rules, but we had fun in the wind. And best of all, my babies got to see their father learning. The joy on their faces reflected the memory. The memory of that little boy on the back of a bike, tearing through the backyard with a smile so big it shut his eyes. I felt it when it happened to me, but now I could see it on the faces of my children. It's that moment where the wild stomped in. rust and aging of time. Every part has a story. Every bike has a history. They've been through wars, survived fires, they've protected and served, even healed and changed lives. Together we built a Harley, and when it was done, we became a part of that heritage that American legacy built around family and friends in a dusty garage. Dedicated to crafting something trusted and authentic, tried and true, ready to be passed down from one generation to the next. I didn't know it at the time, the importance of what I was doing but with this dream, I realized we built something special. We built our family heirloom. We're the Momoas. We're the knuckleheads. And with every ride, whether it's me, my daughter, my son, or even a grandchild I don't know yet, they will share in the miles and memories we're creating It was just a broken motor, but it inspired a dream that taught your father to share this moment with you. That moment where the wild stomped in.